Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Melissa B. Craft with me, and I'm Melissa B. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. I just thought I would jump on here real quick. Um, I have a painting that I need to kit down that I had just finished this week. It is a Mandy Manzano. It's an older Mandy Manzano. But I just finished this on Tuesday or Wednesday and wanted to go ahead and get it kitted down and get my drills all stored. I do save all my drills from all my paintings, but I keep them separated out according to obviously round versus square, as well as all my Diamond Art Club get stored completely separate from any other um, painting company's drills. Because, as we know, um, Diamond Art Club has one of, if not the very best, uh, drills. There you go. I mean, occasionally you're going to find a little, you know, a little bit of the nubs or a little bit of trash, but for the most part, Diamond Art Club has probably the best drills on the market. Um, sorry about my mess. I'm trying to get things organized. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and get this one kitted down, get it in the baggies, which is what my current storage system is right now, is I do use baggies, but I only use them to store my drills, and over time I will be changing that storage system. But I thought I would go ahead and jump on here and do a quick video while I'm kitting this down um, of getting to know me. Um, I have been diamond painting since February 1st, 2019. I stumbled across it um, through a Facebook post and thought, oh, what the heck, let's try it. So I ordered my first painting off of, um, it was Amazon. It was an Amazon painting. Um, and it was very difficult. The canvas was horrible. Um, it, it was um, double-sided adhesive. And it didn't stick very well initially. And then I had problems with, I had a lot of trash. This one here, I have a lot of static, and I've had dryer sheet in, but it, that doesn't seem to be helping. But anyway, so um, the first painting, like I said, it was from Amazon, double-sided adhesive, and um, it took me about three days to do. It was just a small, oh goodness, I think it was a... Uh, 20 by 30. It's a painting. Um, I did complete it, and in the end result, it was a beautiful painting. It's a painting I did for my mom, and I don't have it. I had pictures of it, but I lost a bunch of pictures off my phone. So um, then I went on again with another Amazon painting. I I didn't want to spend a lot of money on paintings until I knew that I was going to be fully invested in painting or diamond painting. Um, I see so much with crafters. They see something new, they see a lot of good prices, and they buy a bunch, and then they find that that craft is not for them. So I wanted to be sure that this is what I intended on doing for a while, that I really loved it before I invested the money into larger paintings or more, uh, more expensive paintings. I uh, then, after about, about three or four, maybe five paintings off of Amazon, before I finally decided that yes, I'm absolutely, I knew I was absolutely hooked right off the bat with the first one. It was just, the painting was, was difficult. But um, I went on to AliExpress and purchased, I think it would have been my fifth painting, was AliExpress. And it was a Yogo Top, was the seller. And it was huge. Figured 
Why not? Let's go big or go home. So, it was um, a painting that my husband had seen, um, seen a picture of while I was kind of going through trying to decide what painting I wanted to get. And he fell in love with it. He being from New York. It was the Brooklyn Bridge at night. It was my first square painting that I had done. And I went ahead and said, all right, let's get it. It was 150 by 50. There were, I can see here, a lot of, a lot, a lot of 310s and 939s. I'm sure you have seen this painting on Mrs. Coffee's page, on Jeremy Fryer's page, uh, Fry Rear, excuse me. Um, I had posted the picture um, while I was completing it, but as well as once it was completed. Um, Here is the completed picture. Um, oh, sorry about the lighting. But yes, that is the completed picture. But as far as the drills go, there were 22,241 310s, and there was 55,656 939s. I started the painting in April. I believe it was April 20th when I initially started the painting. I had to take a break on it in June because we had a uh, pipe leak in our wall in our downstairs bathroom and I was working on the painting in my living room on my drafting table that was just on the other side of said bathroom. Um, and we had to have um, humidifiers and fans and all this stuff um, going in that bathroom and it was building up the heat in the walls. So I had to get that painting out of there, out of the living room and that was the only place that I really had at that time to um, work on such a large painting. So I took a break on that painting throughout the entire summer. It took them about two and a half months. Another story for another video. Um, it took them about two and a half months to fix the bathroom from the damage uh, that was caused from the paint or from the water leaking. So it was put away and I started it again Labor Day weekend, and I finished it, I think it was October, November. Um, again, it was a, another double-sided adhesive, but, you know, the, it really, the adhesive wasn't as really so bad. There's a lot of trash drills, but again, you know, that's what you're going to get when you order from some of these sellers um, on AliExpress. And in the meantime, I was working on several other paintings throughout the summer. And I've finished several since. I have completed a total of about 35 paintings since February 1st, 2019. And I have purchased <laughs> probably 35 more paintings since. Um completing or starting so yeah but anyhow so yes I fell in love with diamond painting but that isn't the only craft that I do um, I like to do adult coloring not very good at it yet I'm working on it and eventually um, we may have a video via you know, maybe answering tag questions or such, um, doing a coloring page. But as of right now, it's pretty much going to just be diamond paintings. I might do some crocheting. 
Um, I'm an avid reader. I love to read. I, sorry, I keep forgetting what number I had. Um, I haven't read in quite a while because once I started diamond painting, forget about it. The yarn and the crochet hooks got put away. The books got put away. The battery on my Kindle died because I wasn't getting on there reading anything. Um, but I do love to read a lot. And um, I would like to read when I was a kid. I like to be read to more when I was a kid than I like to read myself, but I did like to read. Um, then when I had to go to, you know, when I was in middle school and high school um, and being forced to read, I didn't like to read. I lost interest in reading because I was being forced to read and I wasn't reading what I wanted to read. So, um, yeah, I had taken a, a good break from reading for quite a while. Every once in a while, if I was you know, at a Walmart or at a bookstore, I would, you know, take a look at the books, see if there was anything that caught my eye. But, you know, there really wasn't much. Maybe occasionally I'd get a book, read it. But, um, I had been crocheting consecutively, um, from the time I found out that my youngest child, that I was pregnant with my youngest child, which he just turned 15 on December 17th. Um, when I found out I was pregnant with him, I went out, I bought yarn, I bought a hook, and I crocheted an afghan. It was his first baby blanket. And um, I just went nuts. Um, once I start something, it's like, I'm gung-ho. I'm all in. But, um, I had taken a break from crocheting in 2000, I think it was 2010, I had taken a break from crocheting. No, actually, it was before then. It was 2009. Yes, 2008-2009. We were, um, Heading to California to go see a baseball game. The New York Yankees were playing the Anaheim Angels. And I needed something to do while we were driving to California from Nevada. By the way, I live in Las Vegas. So, anyway. Um, I just, last thing I wanted was to have anything on my lap all the way to California. It was hot enough as it was. So I decided that I was going to find something else to do. And my daughter, who is, she's my second daughter. I have four children. My daughter at that time was heavily into um, Twilight. And she kept saying, Mom, you need to get these books. You need to get you need to watch it. You need to read. You need this. You need that. Okay, okay. So I went. I got him. Even though I was a little hesitant because, you know, she was a teenager at the time. I was a grown adult. But I thought, let's try him. Got the first book. I read that book on the way. Well, tried to read it on the way to California. Uh, FYI for anybody who doesn't know this. Do not read a book while you are a passenger in a car, unless sorry about that. Um, unless you plan on getting car sick, which I did. Oh, I was definitely sick. So the book got put away. I was so upset at that book. I felt that book was what made me sick. So I got put, when we came home, it got put on a shelf. I didn't touch it again. I didn't touch it for two weeks. It just sat there. And uh, every time I looked at it, I mean, <laughs> my stomach got upset. When I finally did decide to pick it up and read it, I read the book in about 14 hours. I could not put it down. 
every time I would put it down, it would be to make dinner, help my son with his homework, um, clean the house, which was uh, quickly. It was just do the basics. I just could not get the book out of my head. So I read that one, and then I went on to read the entire series. Basically, I read the entire series as they came out um, in just a matter of a few hours. You know, if, I'd say anywhere from 8 to 12 hours. Well, I then um, got involved with some indie authors on Facebook. I was doing read and reviews for these authors. They would send me a PDF or the actual book itself. I would read it and I would give them my opinion on it. And I did this for until 2015 actually. So from 2009, 2010 to about 2015. Um, during that time I read more than 400 books. And I would have continued reading had my grandmother not passed away. And I couldn't focus on what I was reading, so I needed to take a break from reading. And I picked up my hook and my yarn again because my grandmother taught me to crochet. Crocheting made me feel closer to her. Um, so I started crocheting again and I crocheted up until finding diamond painting. I haven't picked up, I, I've tried to pick up my hook and my yarn, but, um, I just, I'm not feeling it. That's all about diamond painting. There are other crafts that I would like to learn. Um, I would love to learn how to cross stitch which I do have patterns. I've, I've bought kits. I've bought two cross-stitch kits. And I've sat down and I have tried and tried and tried and tried and I just can't get it. So um, I have a couple Facebook friends that live um, here locally that we we're going to get together and we're going to try and teach me how to cross-stitch. I know there are several YouTube creators that have uh, videos, but it's not the same as actually having somebody right beside you to show you exactly what you're doing. Sometimes the angles that they're showing you on aren't so good. Um, so, yeah, I think I just do better off having somebody one-on-one -on -one right next to me showing me what I'm doing so when I'm doing something wrong, I know it. So eventually I will have cross-stitch on here if I can figure out how to do it. But, um, so anyway, back to getting to know me. I am originally from Ohio. Um, I am living out here in Nevada because this is where my husband works. And, um, until he retires, this is home. Um, I met my husband in 2002 on the internet. We remained friends um, for five years, and then we um, got together. We've been together now for... off and on for about 16 years and we've been married for five yes so um, I have three other children I have three uh, three other daughter I have three daughters one of them lives still lives in Ohio and she has Three children, two daughters and a son. So I am a grandma to a 
10 year old, soon to be 11, a nine year old, or I'm sorry, 11 year old, soon to be 12, a nine year old, soon to be 10, both girls. And I have a grandson who will be a year old in February. And then I have a three year old granddaughter who lives in Georgia with my second daughter. She will be four in April. And I have a brand new granddaughter who was born in November, who also lives in Georgia. It is my daughter's second child. Um, my daughter who lives in Georgia is married to a man who is in the Air Force, so that is why they are living in Georgia. And then my third daughter, she lives in California. Yes, so four children, five grandchildren. And they all have to live out of state. <laughs> but the sacrifices that we have to make for our spouses and for our jobs or their jobs sometimes takes us away from our family. All of my family, though, um, otherwise um, still lives in Ohio. And all of my family is very small. My family that I still have that live in Ohio, excuse me, uh, is my mother, my uncle, and my brother. Um, my grandmother passed away, like I said, January 2015, and my father passed away June of 2017. So... Family is getting smaller and smaller. I lost my grandfathers um, both in the same year, a month apart. I was in 99. Um, I do have my other grandmother. Um, she will be, she just turned 97 in December, but she has Alzheimer's. Um, so, yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't remember anybody. But anyway, um, so, I said from Ohio originally, residing in Nevada, discuss my children, um, diamond painting, crocheting, um, the book, I just purchased a book, I will be starting on this book at some point, um, ooh, sorry about the lighting, is Lisa Jackson, Left to Die. Um, this is the first book in the series, so I must, this is going to be something that I will, um, well, actually it says the first Selena Alvarez Reagan Pascoli novel, and, well, that's weird because it says that it's the first in a series, yeah, okay. Yeah, so I will be starting this. Um, I might do a review on this book. But I have um, trying to get a schedule set up for my videos. Um, I have four Diamond Art Club paintings that I'll be unboxing. I'll probably split that up into two videos. I have... So I'll have those to unbox, and then on a separate video, I will do kitting up of those, excuse me, paintings. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten Diamond Art Club already um, kitted up that I will be doing um, videos on. I'll be doing whip and chats. I will have tag questions that I'll be answering. Um, if there's anything on my channel that you would like to see, please leave that down in the uh, comments. And I will try my best to make that happen. 
Um, right now, trying to get Christmas paid off. I won't be buying a whole lot. Um, I will be placing another order with Diamond Art Club because they just had their release for Diamond Club members this morning. There are two paintings that I must get. Um, but I... I, uh need to get Christmas paid off before I go too crazy buying stuff. Um, but if there is something that you would like to see or would like me to review, um, please let me know and I will see what I can do about getting that and getting a video up for you. So, um, that'll be all for now. I'm trying to think there was anything else that I wanted to let you know. I'll go further into I'm um, getting to know me questions and such through tags. But until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful work week ahead for those that don't, that I won't see beforehand. Um, again, if you like my video, I would like to see more please hit that subscribe button and click on that bell so you'll get notified when I post a video please if you also also if you like this please hit the like button and please share you can find me on Facebook and Instagram those links will be in the description box below and you will also be able to find me on Instagram I will add that until then, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for stopping by to see me. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.